Good evening. I'm Officer Chris. Off duty. Welcome back to the channel that terrifies the authoritarian in all of us. Tonight I'd like to talk about a scourge, a crime wave. Citizens of our country have become criminals and anarchists by finding the audacity to exist in public around a police officer. We've been cracking down on this plague of criminality for some time, but we need billions of dollars more in resources to pay people to tell you we're doing it effectively. As you know, we've always supported the criminalization of victimless pursuits. We've gladly accepted larger budgets and expanded authority due to the war on crime, the war on drugs, and the war on terror. Since anyone might have drugs or terroristic intent or just be unable to produce documents indicating their legal status within our jurisdiction, we need unchecked power over every person and situation. That is how we impose the state's order. Freedom leads to disorder. We regularly stop kids from skateboarding, smoking, and plain old loitering just to keep them safe, because fun is dangerous for all involved. We even provide whole squads to watch over them to make sure the only violence they have to face today is from us. But really, all unauthorized outdoor gatherings of any size are illegal, so you can either get a permit to hang out, or we'll make you disperse. But even if you're on your own, if you're existing, we might have to arrest you. You're likely aware we have no tolerance for migration, arresting, caging, and occasionally trafficking in people for crossing lines on maps without permission. These people are dangerously close to our line, where our jurisdiction begins, which means they're attempting to exist in a place we have not yet authorized them to exist in. Obviously, that means we need to put them in cages and blame them for making us do it. And equally, obviously, yeah, having total power over people, you're gonna get some traffickers and abusers. It's inevitable. What are we supposed to do about it? Give up our power over you? <laughs> Folks, freedom is a terrible price to pay for safety. We'll even arrest you for leaving water for people dying of thirst in the desert, because only citizens are allowed to drink water, and only at designated border crossings. What people don't realize is there's really only one charge, existing in the presence of an officer. Take this man. The guy was smoking outside the park when he was fined for smoking inside the park. People around objected that he wasn't technically breaking the law, but why would the law diminish the power of the state? The law is made to be used by us against you. If there's no specific law prohibiting your behavior, but the officer decides you are to be charged, you get charged. That civilian shouldn't have been there. It's the park. Doesn't he know there are police there? Then he was not arrested for not showing his ID, which obviously is valid too, because the state gives itself the right to know everything about you all the time. Again, what's the difference if we have no evidence of criminal activity? We can just feel it. This man was charged with existing contrary to the feelings of the officer. If the suspected exister objects, we can charge them with resisting arrest. Some people are only charged with resisting arrest, which means they were arrested for nothing, and charges were decided later. There are so many laws in the books, the police can pretty much always find something we can charge you with. If we want to stop you, we will. If we want to fine or arrest you, we will. In fact, if we really don't like you and we catch you existing, say goodbye to blue skies for good. 
if we want to say you were acting hostile or just weren't cooperating with our commands to justify using deadly force, we will. We even plant guns on our dead victims. Fortunately for us, many citizens would never believe we would do such a thing and continue to believe our press statements and testimony without question. If too many people questioned what we do, or even just how we do it, we wouldn't be able to do what we do with impunity. Do you know you can get charged for feeding the homeless? After all, feeding them is tantamount to encouraging their presence, and then their presence comes within an officer's presence, and we have to use force. See how cheerful they are as they fine people $2,000 for giving people food? Our job as officers is to enforce policy, and in many cities that policy is the only way you're allowed to eat is if you pay for it. Dumpster diving is illegal too, of course. Those dumpsters and the trash in them are property of a corporation. Our job is to protect property. Homeless people threaten the sanctity of property. If that means an officer decides to escalate to the point a homeless person dies, it's just a normal day. Then there is the crime of being black. Within 24 hours last week, our officers successfully apprehended three suspects on this charge. This boy was caught outside his home being black. He matched a description, which I believe was of a black male between the ages of 13 and 50. Next, this man was attacked by police in a restaurant while holding his child, because he was black, and so was a hit-and-run suspect they were looking for. Sure, the police were looking for someone else, but they were determined to arrest someone, so that's what they did. Even when they knew they had made a mistake, they charged the man, as per standard procedure. Finally, an officer apprehended this man, Johnny Hallman, for driving while black a perfectly normal charge in this country, and says the man got agitated, which, as we know, justifies any escalation of force against the subject, so the officer tasered the man to death. If civilians would just learn to remain calm when their lives are in danger, we wouldn't have to kill so many. I want to conclude this broadcast by thanking so many people for believing in us. Thank you to all our supporters who, no matter what we do, see no evil. Thank you to the people who protest peacefully and let us make sure they don't disrupt anything or have any effect. Thank you to all the people who let us arrest them without struggle and don't attack us in groups and try to de-arrest their friends. And finally, Thank you to everyone who ignores what we do and assumes we're doing what they think we're doing. We need you all so we can maintain our power over you. I'm Officer Chris. Good night.